I know y'all hear this banging soundtrack. So you know is one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, World Flipper has finally came out. Yep, onto the global side of the game, I think after what, two years of it being on the Japanese version, we have finally got the chance to play it and read it in English, which is amazing. This game has been insanely hyped by so many people. And let me just tell you, me playing it, the gameplay and everything, you may not think it's that great, but wait till you try it because it gets very addicting very quickly. You're just playing and watching the story. The next thing you know, you've already invested two hours into it and you're like, what the heck? Where'd the time go? And with everyone just starting, you can best believe a lot of people's gonna have a lot of questions, which is understandable. There's a lot of people out there nowadays that just want the most optimal route. And I mean, yeah, I can kind of see why, even though I'm playing this just because it's actually a lot of fun. I don't really care about being optimal or anything, but I know some people out there may want some help, may want some guidance, and that is what I'm hoping to do in this video. So real quick, if you wanna know who I am, name's OP or Steven. I've been playing gacha games for the past three to four years or something like that. Mostly posting Grand Summoners during that time along with some other games. And uh, that's pretty much it for me. I mean, I'm just a dude that edits and makes content and tries to have fun with it. So I'm not necessarily the greatest player, nor would I consider myself a pro at the game, but I have done a lot of extensive research to make sure that I can give you probably the most accurate information I can, or at least stuff that will help you in the very beginning of the game. Don't worry, there's going to be links to other guides and everything in the description box below to veterans that actually play the Japanese version of the game that are a lot more versed in this information than I am. So we're going to be referring to those quite a bit. And mind you, this is only day one progression. I'm not going to be really going too hard at it. It's also not going to be a thing that I guess necessarily holds your hand. Just some general pointers that you should probably look out for. But real quick, I will say if you enjoy this type of content or you find any of this information informative, whatever the case may be, please like, share it, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps out the channel a lot. And if you are interested in World Flipper and you want to see more stuff from me, amen. All you got to do is hit that like button, let me know. And trust me, it's going to keep coming, I promise. So without further ado, let's talk about World Flipper. So first and foremost, day one progression, you know, it's an exciting time. A lot of new players are going to be coming into the game. A lot of people that have never touched World Flipper, along with some Japanese players maybe coming over and trying out the global version to see what's different, see how good it is. And let me tell you, there's one process that everybody has to go through, or I would say not everybody, but most people are going to go through day one. They're going to kill your enthusiasm, suck your soul out, drain you dry until you have nothing left. And ladies and gentlemen, what am I talking about? I'm talking about re-rolling. Re-rolling on the Japanese version of World Flipper was a little bit different compared to how it is on Global. On the Japanese version, you was able to easily delete your account and start re-rolling, and the re-roll process was about like two to three minutes, so it was really quick. However, on Global, they got rid of that deleting account feature well it's still technically there but you have to wait 24 hours so yeah so how do we reroll then right i saw a lot of people raging about it, a lot of people complaining like you can't do it the old-fashioned way like i said i've been playing gacha games for about five or six years now and let me tell you i've been through the ringer everything from dokkan fate one piece treasure cruise one piece thousand storm all the way to the most recent hits like genshin impact and hopefully world flipper and let me tell you the way how I re-rolled in this game is I just delete the app and re-download it. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. The other ways that people are doing it is that you link a dummy email account, you roll, and if you don't get what you want, you delete that account and link another dummy email account or something of that sort so you don't have to re-download the data. I'm not completely for sure on that because that's not exactly what I did. I just re-downloaded it. And that's the way that I've had to re-roll a lot of times in most games because a lot of games don't have that good of re-roll support to an extent. So this didn't really bother me too much. And if you want to know the average time it took for me to actually get a good account, it was about an hour and a half before I actually got the account that I wanted. Of course, I set pretty high expectations for myself for this account. So that's kind of why it took me so long. But OP, you tell us all about this reroll. But what units do we go for? Well, of course, you could go for what you want. Whoever's your favorite character would be best. But if you want to be optimal with it, in the description box below, there will be a World Flipper progression guide and a World Flipper reroll guide. And the main three that people are recommending that you go for is going to be Verone, Silty, and the boy Razelt. Of course, these are just three of the gotcha units that you could, of course, roll for in this banner. And you could really go for whoever you want if you just want to have fun, or the case may be. But if you want to be more optimal, those three are like the top of the top. If you're re-rolling, these should at least be in your account. Not all three of them, just one of them will do. And trust me, I would actually highly recommend that you actually go read the reroll guide down below in the description because I'm just giving you a few pointers. They go a lot more in detail about the units and who you should maybe roll with them if you wind up getting two 
five stars or the case may be and that's another thing too i highly recommend that you try to re-roll for a five star don't really go for a four star in mind like you want that as like an extra thing you really want to be re-rolling for a five star because at that point what's the point of re-rolling if you're only going to be settling for four stars and three stars you're more than likely trying to re-roll to get that amazing amazing five star and you may just luck out and get two five stars of course you only need one of the s tiers from what i've seen so far to really consider a roll optimal at least in global but if you want to go for more hey amen go for it the only thing i'm gonna tell you is be careful because re-rolling is a very drawn out process especially with the way how they did it on global and it could definitely kill your enthusiasm and make you not even want to play a game especially if you sit there and re-roll for hours on end trying to get the best possible roll you can trust me don't burn yourself out before you even start jesus come on now that seems to be a common thing among a lot of gotcha players <laughs> they burn themselves out on the game before they even start because they spent 30 plus hours re-rolling for a singular unit i actually was trying to re-roll myself for clarice and i actually wind up not getting her and i wind up looking out and getting silty and furia instead and i was like you know what i'll take it you know i'll cut my losses and i want a mono fire team but i'll take mono win why not also i know i didn't talk about exactly what re-rolling is but i'm assuming if you're clicking on this video you already know what you're getting yourself into so now that you got your re-roll that you want whatever it is your shiny new characters look at them bling it's time to finally get into the game you can finally play the game and experience the game and have fun you're done re-rolling you're out of that hell let's go so what's the deal with it right what do you need to do in the story progression wise i want to say it's fairly simple it's pretty much just go through the story as much as you can on the first day i know i know it's crazy if possible it would be best to try to get to chapter six in the story due to the fact that that allows you to unlock all the boss fights plus events and everything else that are currently going on in the game because a lot of content in world flipper like many other gacha games is story locked so you need to progress a certain amount in the story before you can even attempt them it might be hard trust me it might be and i really wouldn't stress about it if you can't get the story chapter six in the first day don't worry about it. take your time with it and you're not in a rush you know what i'm saying you gotta pace yourself especially with this game being new i know a lot of people they're gonna get to that end game they're gonna be like oh my god this game's so stale and it's like yeah you ain't give it no time to to release any content what what do you expect oh like i said that would be the goal of course don't stress about it if you can't get the chapter six within your first day of playing but at least try to get it at some point within your first two three days of playing because uh the sooner you're there the better off your account will be in the long run due to you being able to access those boss fights and these boss fights allow you to of course enhance your units and obtain new equipment and everything else and since we're on the topic of enhancing units i actually want to make a disclaimer here or i guess another note another idea to provide to you guys and that is do not over invest into multiple units you want to try to stay to a small core so you can build your foundation because if you wind up spreading all your resources thin in the very beginning trust me it's going to make your life a whole lot harder later on if you want to know my strategy for going into this i'm personally only leveling the two units that i know that are going to be on my team for pretty much months and months to come and that is of course the girl Celti and the girl furia i know both of these units are going to be on my team no matter what i'm really only going to be leveling up and investing in their skill trees the most out of all of my units i don't really care about the other stuff i just want to level and max out these units and that even includes their skill tree system as well talking about the skill tree system not only do we want to only invest into a certain amount of units because it will make our lives a lot easier later on but we also want to make sure that the stuff that we're investing in is actually meaningful in the sense that whenever you're leveling up units it's always better to go for the bigger nodes over the smaller nodes in the beginning due to the big nodes allowing you to access abilities that the characters have and without them your character is pretty much just a stat stick they don't do anything like they're just kind of there and once you unlock these abilities that's what actually makes your character pretty much a character that's what gives them all their uniqueness all their power all their strengths so I highly recommend that you do prioritize obtaining the bigger nodes over the smaller ones one thing i will actually say though is that in the skill tree system do not obtain the third ability for your sub units or your unison units once you unlock the unison units, you'll know what I mean. But the reason why I say this is because the third ability in these skill trees only apply if you are a member. If you actually click on them, you can see this by the crossed out U, meaning that this does not activate in unison. They will have to be a member on the field in order for this ability three to activate. So save your ability three upgrades for the characters that you're going to be having in your main party. 
if they are out on the field and fighting, you will want their ability three. If they're not out on the field and fighting and they're just in unison, just getting their first and second abilities is good enough because those are going to apply even if they are set to the unison character. Of course, you will want to eventually be able to max out these boards for all your different characters just because of the extra stat bonus and everything, but we'll wait for that later on down the line. That's going to take quite a, quite a bit, trust me. Is that it? I told you guys how to reroll. I told you guys what you should be doing in terms of progress with the story. And I have told you what to do with your characters, especially the ability boards when enhancing them. Is there anything else that I'm missing here? I think for day one, that's pretty solid, at least for me. That's what I have set out for myself to do. And I guess if I get any further than that, then great. But if I don't, then it's kind of whatever. But if you would like to learn more on what to do and how to progress even further than this, I'm going to be making more videos about the game and walking you through more of the progression once I of course get there so I can have a better understanding and a better grasp on what exactly I need to be doing because I am also a new player but I'm just conveying to you the information that I have learned over the last few days of looking into this game and trying to understand it before of course the official release. So if you have any other tips you would like to add to this video you can of course put them down below. A few things to note signing off. As I said before, if you're looking for a more in-depth progression guide and you want to know about everything because, you know, you may be a speed demon and you may want to get through everything as fast as possible, down below in the description, there will be a Google Doc link that takes you to the World Flipper progression guide that was made by some amazing people, I think, in the World Flipper community discord. Trust me, those guys are cracked out of their mind. They know exactly what they're doing. And the guide is very well put together. And if you need more information about anything, I highly recommend reading that because that will probably clear up any questions you have pertaining to gameplay mechanics to what to be farming what to be going for and certain goals that you should be setting for your account a few other things that i'll mention before we completely sign off as well is that is three and four star characters viable in this game absolutely i didn't really talk about it in the reroll process because you really should be aiming for a five star but if you do get three and four star characters they're not bad trust me a lot of characters in this game have a lot of thought put into them and they're not just fodder units like they are in some other gacha games literally one of the best characters to get in the game that is a three star and you might wind up getting her and kind of why i didn't mention it is sha susu susu is a three star character that is insane completely busted especially as a unison partner you don't even need to put her on the main team extremely good got to unit you're going to want to make sure that you have her and she's a three star so more than likely you're going to be getting her in your reroll. or if you don't get her then you could probably just do one multi and wind up obtaining her just randomly another thing to mention too because i'm actually going to be making a video on this separately you're going to want to be sticking to a mono team i know that's going to sound a little bit daunting especially being new to the game in the long run it's going to help you out a ton and it's going to make your progression a lot smoother and that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything and got everything off my chest that I wanted to say in this video. I may have missed some things here and there, but I mean, it's the first day. You know what I mean? It's like your first day in school. You ain't doing nothing anyway. You just chilling, trying to vibe, have some fun. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for coming out. Tell me down below if you have any extra tips or anything that I missed in the comment section. Yeah, if you guys have any more advice for me, leave it down below. Thank you all again for coming out. I hope you all enjoy the game. And last but not least, you guys already know, man. Don't forget to drink water.